All right, this is Chris with Chris Comments. A uh, show of common sense on common ground, no matter what the subject. Today's subject, the Texas House Committee uh, advances a funding bill that would ap appropriate nearly $2 billion uh, on border enforcement. Now, I started this first portion of it uh, with, uh, in the first, in the previous one, with uh, news and this uh, Operation Lone Star. This is the second part. Uh, best way to look out for this is the money. Remember the money, the money, the money. Uh, the organizations that are involved in this and the spendings that they're doing. Best way to find out is their complaints. Uh, their complaints and what it is that they're boasting about and all this good stuff. Okay? Bonin, obviously the numbers racket guy. Bonin, uh, Representative Greg Bonin of uh, Friendswood Texas is going to be uh, doing stuff like dispatching state troops to the border uh, to arrest migrants. Now, obviously, this is him uh, using the money through Operation Lone Star and uh, Biden's infrastructure bill uh, by way of prisoner numbers racket. Um, the numbers is what he's going to go for in order to get the publicity that will authorize him to get paid more. Uh, Abbott's solicit Abbott and his administration has solicited the donations from the public to continue in building barriers. Okay. Uh, the solicited donations could be used as a launder or a mask um, as part of the mask of fines and fees uh, through Biden's bill loans as opposed to uh, actual donations. Um, so what we're looking at is something that might be covered up as a donation, which is actually pulling money from Biden's loans through this infrastructure bill and him saying, look, I did this all without Biden's help. So we got to look out for that also. Remember, it's a, all about the money. Belief is the tool. They're gonna swipe. They're gonna do that trick of the tail. They're gonna do the switch of the hands thing, under the table deals, and say, "Look, look, I am so great by doing it this way," and you will believe it. <laughs> Maybe not you, who's on the other side of the screen, but I'm gonna say, "But." However. There are many followers that do blindly follow their leaders instead of uh, follow them, but not without watching what they do. Abbott has sent 1,000 troops to arrest migrants on state charges such as trespassing. Okay. Uh, he's also turned a state prison into a migrant-only detention center. Okay, this is also um, somewhat of a holding facility, which I can understand. One of the things that I've made, uh, that I've pointed out in previous videos is we've got state prisons that are not being used. Okay, we got state prisons that are not being used. They're old. They're, they're out of date, they're out of touch. These days, they're too in close to the city. Some might be too far out of our cities uh, to maintain. To maintain and, and keep, uh, keep a well-oiled machine. And I, what drew my attention to this was the 27 uh, prisons in Colorado State. Colorado State has got that. Uh, in the state of Colorado, they had a total of 27 prisons. And it's because a lot of the taxpaying dollars went to these more walls, more balls, more bars, and more guards um, the way everybody likes it. Um, and uh, a lot of it wasn't even being used. A lot of them had cleared out. Uh, they were too weak in structure. They were uh, being constantly being broken out of. Um, or they, weren't, they just weren't up to date. And um, every almost every state has prisons like that. Obviously, this whole bizwax 
where Biden has turned a state prison, which means he's only did this one, one, they could probably only hold, if it's as old as I'm thinking is, is probably only hold like a couple of thousand prisoners uh, as a detention center for a migrant only detention center. Now we got kids that are being migrated over here. Okay. So that's still not all that great. It would have been better if there was an organized, uh, if there were families organizing themselves to work to maintain a habitable uh, living space in those prison facilities, uh, like the way celebrity actor George Takei had done, he and his people had done when Japan had to be encamped uh, during World War II. Now, there's uh, another thing that's a concern here. Uh, Biden scares the living crap out of me when it comes to this because in these holding facilities where asylum seekers are being treated more like prisoners you get tons and tons of uh, cases of inappropriate conduct being done by the captives uh, but no excuse me by the captors now the captors Will play. Will claim that it's the captives and only the captives that are doing this. But here's what I'm referring to: 4,500 complaints of sexual assault and abuse on migrant children committed by adult staff members in charge of detaining them. Okay, this was during the years uh, 20, uh, 2008 to 2016, I think, or 18. I'm sorry. And this was going on between Obama's administration, during the time of Obama's administration, excuse me, uh, from October 2014 to July of 2018, okay? Just in those, those four years alone, when Obama was in charge, later on when Trump was in charge, uh, 4,500 complaints of sexual assault and abuse uh, had been taken place, Okay. Uh, 1,300 were deemed very serious and 178 uh, were claimed by, uh, committed by adult staff members. The rest were allegations of minors assaulting minors, which we all can pretty well see that when you're freezing, starving, you got no help whatsoever and you're being treated like an animal. Well, you're not really going to be... Th sex is the last thing you're thinking of. You know, trying to keep from getting hypothermia, however, and try while, star while starving, that's a, that's a pretty huge... Uh, pretty huge indication that, that the allegations of child-on-child child -child crime uh, is pretty much bullcrap. Okay, the migrant children are moved from Border Patrol custody to jail-like facility... To a shelter formed by the Department of Health and Human Sources. Shelters with breathing room as opposed to cramped and crowded spaces. Windows, since most of uh, Border Patrol custody facilities have had migrants who haven't seen the sunlight in years. In days, excuse me. <laughs> in days. Okay. Now, if that is still to be upheld, the Department of Health and Human Services... Uh, then we'd be looking at uh, scheduled, uh, nice scheduled eating times, time to take turns uh, to shower, um, bunk beds with blankets as opposed to several days without one, without a shower. Uh, and instead of a bunk bed, the cold floor with a thermal sheet. I don't know if you all remember that, those, those thermal sheets. Um, also... Also, donations accepting, acceptings. Okay, people sending canned foods, canned goods, blankets, uh, clothes, hygiene products, uh, everything to keep us safe, uh, other medicines and stuff. It may be off the shelf, but nevertheless, um, those kinds of things uh, was being done when Biden took over and led the Department of Health and Human Services uh, take control of these holding facilities. 
now that we've got uh, now that we've got Governor Abbott turning a uh, prison into a migrant only detention center it's quite possible that we're going to be going back to people in cold floors uh, cold areas with uh, no nothing habitable uh, no foods no blankets no no, no donations uh, permitted uh, just caged children just caged children and state troopers guarding them okay this also is a horrible insult to law enforcement because while they're out there on the streets traffickers are getting captured okay smugglers are getting captured while they're guarding children in detention centers well apparently up to 4500 uh, sexual assaults are being committed within a four-year time span you see why this is such a horrible thing you see why I have to do this in parts while while focusing on these issues you know piece by piece you see what I'm, I'm looking at here okay oh by the way Abbott also announced that the National Guard which he's deployed to the border in increasing numbers now has the authority to arrest migrants okay not to treat them asylum seekers but to just plain arrest them this is a big worry because once again Abbott is using our National Guard as lap dogs, sickum dogs instead of letting them do what they're supposed to which is protect our land which is what they've been doing they've been rounding up people that have been digging they've been rounding up people that have been sailing they've been rounding up people that have been climbing over the border they've been rounding up people that have been flying over the border National Guard is on par state troopers are on par Texas state troopers are on par uh, sheriffs and all them and, and uh, DPS and all this good stuff local law enforcement are up to par and on on target on time they're they're taking care of business um, taking out migrants and smugglers so what the hell are we doing letting Abbott pulling them off of the street pulling them out from wherever it is that they're supposed to be what are we doing letting him do that instead guarding a bunch of minors where once again a total of 4,500 uh, cases of sexual abuse and misconducts and assaults are taking place when they are in charge. This is also something to be concerned once he starts letting ICE into effect. If you all remember that one previous uh, video that I made, ICE was releasing uh, criminal, federally uh, criminal uh, migrants illegals that were that were uh, that were felons okay two of them sex offenders one in Austin and the other in Del Rio ICE was releasing these people so this is a huge concern when you got somebody that's doing this kind of bullcrap in the name of protecting the state which goes right back to the organizations spendings complaints and mistreatments remember the national association of christian churches mistreated a lot of these migrant girls okay abbott came down here to san antonio and said all these little boys and girls are being raped i demand that uh, they be released and um, turned over to border patrol which was incredibly stupid because san antonio wasn't in charge of any girls at all they weren't in charge of any little boys either they were in charge of boys ages 13 to 17 mid-teens to young adults okay they were in charge of them that's what here in San Antonio was in charge of and and to top it all off a few of them came to the uh, to the uh, news media and actually testified that they were being treated well here in San Antonio so when you've got something like that going on by our San Antonio communities and yet something as big as the National Association of Christian Churches comes around taking four million bucks a year housing them in rented out Walmarts caging them up 
or or at least having them having to use uh, boxes, stacked boxes um, as partitions instead of giving them each individual rooms with beds, um, dude. You, you've got a you got a small problem here. You've got a major concern when you got somebody like Greg Abbott that's going to be doing this, sending troops and National Guard to start arresting um, people in the name of trespassing, and uh, and to set them up into a prison, which is going to be made for a migrant only detention center. Okay, speaking of detention centers. You got people like uh, SOS One, uh, where a supervisor with this contract to service says it supports their claim that unaccompanied minors are being released without proper documentation or following protocol to traffickers. Okay, you got a rat amongst one rat amongst SOS One that verified sponsors are not being uh, looked into. Some children may be going to people who want. To, to just exploit them, okay? Southwest Key Australia, Southwest Key Australia. This is a facility out of Tucson, Arizona. They contracted this. Uh, they're the main contractors to the people that came over here at Freeman Coliseum. Okay. Now these guys did their job here in San Antonio, but I'd like to point out that these guys are notoriously known. For releasing children to unflagged sponsors uh, for labor trafficking uh, allegations, offering a sponsor uh, sponsoring a child that will unify with them through this uh, uh, company, Southwest Key Estrella. Okay, this is the company that was notoriously known as far back as I think 2018. That was known for um, attacking, uh, beating, manhandling, roughing up migrant children. Uh, one, at one point, their surveillance video showed them slamming them into slamming one of them into a wall. They were kicked, they were pushed, they were shoved, they were incredibly mistreated. And that's the another thing you gotta we gotta look out for. Okay, this whole bizwax with Operation Lone Star that's now set to be approved by this time of the year because this was this was made earlier in um, I think March it's now August and now we're starting to see it take place to where it's now going to be looked at as 100% legal okay this is the problem here with Abbott doing this kind of garbage now, the thousand state troopers to arrest migrants on charges of trespassing. Uh, National Guard deployed to the border in increasing numbers. Uh, now has the authority to arrest migrants. This is all part of the uh, the numbers racket. No differently than what Representative Bonin out of Freezewood, Texas is doing. All right. Our U.S. Borders Protection, our U.S. Customs and Border Protection has recorded 1.3 million encounters with migrants at the border since October 1st. Okay, encounters with migrants, the asylum seekers, not all criminals. The only times that these guys have actually been arresting criminals is when they're taken off of guard duty and are actually put out here in the streets to serve and protect, okay? That's the only time that they've actually been carried. And, and without Greg Abbott interfering with law to doing their job within a quarter of a year we wound up the they well not we but the law wound up arresting close to 4000 traffickers okay they came across tens of thousands of victims that were being smuggled they were being trafficked but they arrested their their captors they arrested their traffickers Law enforcement arrested their smugglers. Okay, they arrested the people that were in charge. And that was when Greg Abbott was writing up the Operation Lone Star Declaration and making the announcement of it. 
while he was doing all that, he wasn't in the way of law enforcement. Law enforcement was doing their job and a whole crap load of criminals were actually apprehended. Now, with Abbott's bullshit declaration authorizing law enforcement from local to national, uh, arresting just any old freaking migrant, well, smugglers and traffickers are slipping away. They're waltzing right past them because these guys, law enforcement has to look and watch over caged kids, you know, and torment them with freezing and, uh, freezing conditions and, uh, and little to eat, zero hygiene, uh, therefore, zero hygiene, therefore, zero infectious preventions um, of a variety of sorts, of the most harmless turned into the harmful sort of infections, bacterias and such. You know, the traffickers are waltzing past them. They're walking underneath them. They are presenting themselves in front of law enforcement and just continuing with their shit, with their smuggling, with their trafficking, because... Abbott has law enforcement uh, watching over caged kids, looking over arrest now, arresting migrants and sending them to one prison, which you know is going to be overcrowded. It's going to be overcrowded because, again, the migrants will come in in the thousands. The traffickers, however, won't. But the traffickers are the ones that we want. And that's not what's going to be happening. The traffickers are the one that's going to be getting away. Nothing's going to stop them from doing this. Which leads me back to that one conspiracy theory that Abbott is collecting his fair share. Abbott is collecting a, a getting a cut from this. I'm running out of time again. This is the end of part two of uh, Gre Governor Greg Abbott's bullshit operation called uh, Operation Lone Star. His declaration is just total BS. Um, if y'all remember when I tackled this uh, declaration back when it was just first the rough draft represented, um, it was about four, five, maybe six parts that I was diving into. Uh, I think these parts is just going to be three or four at the most four. Um, and the only reason why is because if you saw the, the first part, um, I was covering other news around the world uh, and giving my opinion as a, as a, you know, well, what this show is about. Common sense on common ground. What us little people see and uh, what we're thinking. Um, that's all that this is about. Um, so while you got rhetoric going on on one end, saying that this is great, blindly following the leaders that are doing nothing but pocketing change while making things worse, pocketing uh, money while making things worse, or if you follow the left-wing propaganda where everything is evil and the only thing we should do is not uphold borders, not tax uh, every, anybody, not, uh, not pay our taxes, not uh, participate in anything, uh, but to just let people be free, you know, you got those two dominant voices that are speaking to extremisms. And then you got people like you and me here, people on common sense with common ground thinking. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So for everything that looks kind of like, oh, Chris of Chris's comments is is uh, is going off of conspiracy theories and all this stuff. Well, no, not really. Because again, if you think about it, it's all about the money. Belief is the tool. Okay? It's about the money. Belief is the tool. They're, they're putting troops out. Uh, Abbott's putting troops out. Abbott's setting uh, barricades up. Abbott's doing uh, one detention center, which is a jailhouse prison cell, which more than likely isn't even going to be uh, um, uh, habitable, much less hospitable. <laughs> um, and he's doing this with supposed $2 billion, which apparently that's how much it's going to cost. And you know full well he's going to not be taking it from anything of the Texas Treasury. He's going to be pulling it out of uh, Biden's infrastructure bill under the new spendings part where he's letting the U.S. spend up, up to $550 billion per year. Okay, so uh, $2 billion, it's quite easy for somebody like a governor to get away with. 
I'm gonna set up a bunch of little crap stuff and uh, he's gonna have like the troops that are coming in from Ohio the military the National Guard from Ohio and that cost Ohio two hundred thousand dollars to send them over here Abbott's not paying squat but he's letting them come over here to arrest Mexicans so um, it's all about the money belief is the tool and all of well maybe not you but somebody else that's watching on the other side of the screen literally believes that Abbott is doing good that that our, our, that our state is doing that it's got nothing to do with with pocketing two billion dollars so uh, there it is uh, my time is coming up for part two uh, part three of this bill coming up it's it's set to pass if not already passed uh, and um, here comes the third part right after I do this for the full explanation non-stop go to my uh, podcast anchor.fm Chris's comments and look me up uh, but that's not going to be published until another couple of hours from now because I'm still doing this and then I got to get right back to work like I said I'm a little guy, just like you and me. This is Chris, signing out. See you in the next part.